back here in New York on Warriors.com on the eve of the NBA Draft Lottery. And you know, when you come to New York City, you want to see the David Letterman show if you can. You at least try to get some tickets at the Ed Sullivan Theater. This week, though, Dave is doing reruns. The show is dark, but the Hello Deli is open, and we went in to meet the man that Dave made famous, Rupert G. What do you think the Warriors' chances are to move up to one, two, or three in this lottery? Well, my understanding is it's a weighted type of lottery anyway. So let's say, for example, if you're number seven, the odds are you'll get the, the seventh pick. For a good luck charm, anything we could pass on to Bob Myers, the general manager of the Warriors? Well, I would recommend this Lacho mug. I sell the heck out of it. So it's good luck to me. Our tour of New York continues here on Warriors.com with something very special. We're talking the lottery with the folks that sports fans know about but really never see what they do. It's the Elias Sports Bureau, and we get a chance to talk about the Warriors, the lottery, and so much more with their executive vice president, Steve Hurt. Well, it's been since 95 when the Warriors selected Joe Smith that the Warriors did not go backwards or stay the same at the spot they entered the lottery. At some point, you would think that the tide would turn. I think a lot of people refer to that as the curse of Joe Smith. I think that uh, the fact that it's been that long and the Warriors took it with Joe. So remember, the, way back in the day, didn't the Warriors have one and two draft picks back in the 60s? And um, Rick Barry was the guy they assigned to number two, and Fred Hetzel was number one. So uh, I, I, I think that uh, every, every draft stands on its own. And, uh, you know, I'm feeling bullish about the Warriors this year, so let's, let, let's see how they do. Maybe they can move up. It's a real honor to be here in the Elias Sports Bureau. You know, you hear so much about it, you know what is being done in here, but you don't ever get to come in here and to be here. Why is it important to be the vanguard and keep this kind of sports information? Well, um, it's sort of like Vegas when you leave here, you know, what you see here has to stay here. But uh, actually, uh, to be serious for a minute, uh, you know, sports is so much about history. And uh, the NBA has a great history going back to the 1940s. Uh, the NFL and the Major League Baseball, even longer histories than that, and the National Hockey League. And, and when, when something comes up, you know, how much, how quickly, did anybody else ever do this this young? Uh, why do people keep track of things? Will Chamberlain, of course, former warrior, was a guy who great, said it great. You know, boy, I really scored a lot of points last night. Could you imagine? Well, what is that? 30? 40? In his case, 100? You know, people want to know how much, and uh, we're the people who archive all of that, who in a lot of cases have researched the original material for it, and uh, fortunately, sports fans are interested in it. 